Row upon row of cucumber plants reach nine feet high in Medicine Hat's most technologically advanced greenhouse. The four-acre Country Fresh Farms building is not using agriculture technology that is new. They are combining existing techniques to give them the edge during the winter months. It's different because it's glass and it's uh, grown under lights so we can grow year-round. It's uh, going to supply us locally with winter production. Growing beneath glass is nothing new. It was commonplace before a massive hailstorm in 1995 forced many local greenhouses to use plastic-based materials. The two generations of industry experience found in the Kramer family and their associates have simply moved back to glass and added artificial light to the mix, an industry first in Alberta. We're trying to utilize both things. Um, the glass will be a challenge for us in the summertime more so than in the wintertime. You know. But this greenhouse was kind of geared year-round production, so we tried to balance both. Ground broke on the County Fresh Farms greenhouse in May of this year, and growers here say due to some unique techniques, their produce is already hitting grocery store shelves. Annually, 18 million cucumbers are grown in our region, a massive number, yet still not enough to curb our reliance on foreign imports. Just two weeks ago, the new facility began their first harvest, sending thousands of veggies to local stores and sending positive news of strengthening business in tough economic times. The industry is pushing this. It's not coming from, uh, you know, people like myself. Uh, that usually in the past it seems to be that was the push and, and now industry is actually leading the charge and, and we're just making sure that, that they get all the support that they can that we can possibly give them. The father-son team who watered, cared for, and eventually saw their idea of a new greenhouse grow are not much for compliments when talking about business. They seem far more concerned with hatters eating food grown in their own backyards. Instead of letting the Mexican uh, product flood the border and come in at a real cheap price, we can, uh, we can supply our local market with, with our local product. Scott Cunningham, Chat News.